Hey guys, um, just a quick video about uh, edge maintenance. I, I was explaining to a friend of mine how to strop a, a blade um, because you can, if you strop it properly, you can go a long time between uh, having to resharpen. So I've got this, this is a crappy, this is an old Gerber. I don't think they even make these anymore. I got this when I was in the Navy. It was kind of a novelty. Um, it was a lot smaller than I thought it was. It never really deployed the way it's supposed to be really stiff but um it was nice because you could get really good purchase on it i actually carried it for a while but if you look it's it's fairly small um so i'm going to use this because i don't what i'm going to do i don't want to do to some of my other knives it's actually really sharp i can keep all my knives um but one of the problems that you have with straps and i, I like this strop it's a pretty nice strop um, the leather's not real thick, so you don't run into the problem as much with this one. But what happens is, if you put it down and you push, and you can kind of see that... What happens is, the leather's soft, and so you have your edge, and then you push it in, and as you're dragging it, you're rounding that edge over on both sides, and you wind up losing your edge. You roll your edge, or you, you blunt it, because um, it, it makes it really convex, the edge. So... When you're stropping, you're not trying to push real hard. You just want to put a little bit of pressure. You lay it up, you find your edge, and you do a stropping stroke. Nice light. And uh, I've got the titanium dioxide on this. It probably needs, uh, I just cleaned it up not too long ago, but I sharpen a lot of knives and I use this to just a couple times take that burr uh, and just kind of burnish it off uh, in between stones sometimes. Sometimes, you know, even even on fine stone, you wind up with a little bit of a, a little bit of a wire burr on the edge. You just want to knock off. Um, one of the other things you can do is, I, I don't have one right now because I don't drink wine. I have to wait for my friends. But I take a wine cork, and I run the knife through it like that, just just to knock that burr off of it. So I have another. I have a couple other straps. I've got I've gotten rid of straps because I found a better way to do it. This is a half micron. It's a balsa wood on a piece of pine with half micron. Uh, diamond spray um, and you do this you can do the same thing um, this one actually is pretty nice it doesn't it doesn't want to roll over too much but um, it brings that edge back up so what happens when you cut is there's little micro serrations on the knife just like with a straight razor you do the same thing when you're cutting you get them all knocked out of place and when you take the strop and you bring it back on each side, you're slowly just burnishing that back up to where you have a, a, a more fine, refined cutting edge. Um, the problem with it too, though, is if you do it too much, you actually burnish those off and round them off to the point where it doesn't want to catch, it doesn't want to cut, it doesn't want to um, to bite in. Um, guys, like I like a, I like to go to a five thousand grit stone sometimes, maybe a ten thousand grit stone, and then just strop it a little bit, and uh, it maintains. You've got a nice, nice polished edge, but you, it's toothy, and it grabs and it wants to cut. It it digs in immediately and starts to cut. You can feel it on your skin. That yep, right in and dig it into the school, skin a little bit. So um, when you're sharp, when you're cutting, and, and you start to do that, you can you don't have to have anything special. You can take your belt if you got a leather belt and just pull it out tight couple times across it you just don't want to go too hard or like I said you're gonna roll that edge over it so um, but one of the things that I found um, here recently um, listening to, to stuff that Mary Carter talks about is phone book paper newsprint um, it's bound with uh, when they make the the paper it's bound with a ceramic mud which acts as really really super fine abrasive and so I will either take this strop and initially burnish that, you know, bring it back and feel if I missed any of the burr. And then I'll take a piece of either newspaper or phone book paper, and I'll wrap it around the black, the back, so that there's there's no pet there's no play in that. Uh, when you put that down and you find your angle, you're not going to round that over. You just basically put it on there and you pull it back, and you don't need much pressure. And just and let's see, because it didn't want to push cut this real well. Let's see what we've got here after doing this. I mean, I know I did a couple strokes on the other ones, but I found that this works incredibly well. And it's, it's cheap. It's free. It's, it, Yellow Pages drops one off at your house. Every... So that went from had to kind of play with it to get it cut through. Um, 
One of the other things that you can do uh, when you're stropping that will damage your edge is when you find your angle, if you go too steep, if you go too steep, you basically are making yourself a little micro bevel. You want to try and kind of find that edge where it marries up to what it's sharpened at. And I sharpen a lot of knives, so it's pretty easy for me to find that angle, maintain that. It's basically going to be the same angle I sharpened it at if I sharpen freehand. Um, I have noticed that if I do, like I said, I have, I have kind of looks like what looks like an edge pro, uh, and people will want specific, specific angles. And then I have to kind of play with it to find that on the strop when I, when I want to, to bring it back because, uh, my, I think I only have a 5,000 grit, maybe an 8,000 grit. I can't remember if I have an 8,000 grit or not. I usually don't use it. The 5,000 grit, I'll just strip stop and go straight to the strops uh, and, and take a strop back and then and bring this up and then sometimes i'll just finish it then on that flat um spider co ultra fine just to, to polish it up a little bit more um but if you if you're going at too steep of an angle you're gonna roll that edge over like i was saying if you're pushing too hard it basically does the same thing so you can easily maintain an edge for a long time. Um, let's see. Here we go again. Let's see. Uh, I got this going on three weeks ago, I want to say. I did bring the angle back, like I said in the video, and I have not had to sharpen it. And I do cut a lot at work. There's a, there's a, lot, of, there's a lot of cutting that I do at work for things. Um, the only thing I've done is uh, I use newsprint on a block of wood. Let's see if this weird angle sitting here. Let's see. Yep. So I uh, I have stropped it a few times. Uh, maintained that toothy polished edge. Um, as long as I don't chip it, I should be able to maintain that edge just by stropping it lightly lightly on a piece of newspaper or phone book paper and get it right back up to so it's it's sharp all the way out to the all the way out to the tip here so um yeah you, you don't you don't necessarily have to immediately take a, a take a knife and put it back on a stone just because it feels like it might have lost its edge. You can do it with uh, you can do it with various stuff. Like I said, paper easiest way. You can do it on the uh, edge of a cardboard box if you happen to be out and there's you cutting like when I'm cutting cardboard. Yeah, and I've cut cardboard down with this to get rid of boxes and stuff. I haven't hit any staples, but when you you know pull up the edge of the box and just strop it a couple times on the piece of cardboard and then go back to cut. Basically anything that will dull a knife, anything that's going to dull a knife is going to be a viable option as a strop. So cardboard, newspaper, um, things that you would cut that would dull your edge can also be used to, to lay that edge back up because it has a minor abrasive quality or it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have cut that edge back. So, I say these things and my friends are like, you know, you tell people these things and then they don't have to send their knife to you. But I, I think that, I mean, there's enough other videos out there. I just, if you want it, the initial sharpness on it um, to be crazy, crazy, sticky, scary sharp, uh, then you might want to send it to me and then you can maintain it on a strop. Um, I am going to post a video here in a little bit. Um, I strop this up. I'm going to see if I can do it first. I'm going to try and get a video of me cutting in and splitting a hair with it it's not it's just gonna be a few seconds video just just to show uh because you know i i don't show any actual results. i mean news yes this is really fine this is really fine paper i've heard people getting their knives sharp enough you can cut into wet paper towel and stuff like that but if you can cut into a piece of you're cutting into a piece of fine and it's you're cutting into a piece of fine newspaper or phone book paper that's pretty sharp. Let's see. Let me see if I can get a good. Let me see if I can get a good. There we go. Let's see if you can see it. Let's see. Now, I just shaved. And I don't have very many whiskers. I usually will go days without shaving just so I can have that and show people that I just 
peel off a, a little clean spot. But uh, so anyway, there you go, and uh, I will get I will get a video out there for uh, here in a little bit of uh, me cutting into a hair, uh, maybe tree topping or or splitting or whittling a hair. All right, take it easy.